Baby Rin is gonna get her first bath. Does that feel good, Rinny? Baby Rin sleeping on grandma. Hi. We are four days post delivery. We have baby Rin here. She's four days old. Perfectly sleeping. So cute. We just had Mediterranean food. It was very good, and now we're giving Nari a cake. I'm very swollen, so I'm propping my legs up. Anthony is prepping this cake for Nari. Is this your big sister cake? Is this your big sister cakeies? Cheers. Cheers. To Rin. To Rinny's. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Rin Manning Tozak. We love you. Happy four days of life. Nice look at these little feet. <laughs> look at my thumb. <laughs> I think you're gonna have big feet, girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> Got little Rinny here. For one week. One week. She has her first pediatrician appointment tomorrow. My dad is coming to meet baby Ren for the first time. She's all ready for him. Anthony went to go pick my dad up from the airport and he's coming over to meet baby Rin. I'm so excited. Today is December 5th. It has been a week and a half since we've had her. And this is our first week, kind of just us. Um, Anthony is still on paternity leave. He, had, he took three weeks. He could take a full 12. Um, but he decided to just take three and we're going to try to save the rest for next November when she's a year old and like go home to Pennsylvania for a while. We haven't really filmed much of anything this first week and a half. It's just been a blur. My mom has been visiting and was staying with us and she left. Um, so yeah, that's why it's now just us. <laughs> no, diaper changes are not fun when you have a blowout, huh? But you probably are gonna need a new sheet too, huh? <gasps> oh, look at how cute Rini is! Good morning! <laughs> Everyone's sleepy. Good morning. We are two weeks postpartum. I've been pretty good at like showering every single morning. I've kind of made it a top priority of mine because I would just feel so disgusting if I didn't. I need to because I shower every day prior to having a baby. So I just try to time it like with her feed. I'll feed her, make sure she's nice and settled pump and then i'll go shower and i put a plastic baggie over my phone and i have she's just outside the shower room too like the bathroom and i have the door open and i turn my phone on loud and then i literally plop her <laughs> so that i can see her while i shower the whole time um i actually put on a face mask this morning too and i want to start doing that and just get better with like skincare and self-care 
Um, so we'll see how this goes. I really, really want to take a bath. I think that's something I want to start doing like once a week at night, but I'm only two weeks postpartum, so I have another four weeks to wait until I get checked and then just make sure everything's good that I can take a bath. So I cannot yet, but what I did was when I had my face mask on, I filled up the tub and I just sat at the edge of the tub, which wasn't the best idea because I have stitches. <laughs> and the tub is not comfy to like sit on the ledge but i did it and i soaked my feet in like hot water and that felt really nice but i just like can't wait till i can take a bath again like i feel like it's gonna feel so so good when i can do that and like use bath bombs and i'm so excited um i also this is just like a update on me i guess i really need a haircut my hair is so dead um, I also think I want to dye it one more time blue. Um, I love having blue hair. Like, I'm obsessed with it. And I want to keep it blue forever. But it's so damaging to my hair that I'm debating on going back, like, chopping it and just going back to just my natural brown, which is this. This is my natural hair color. But on the ends, which when it fades, it kind of gets, like, a green color. I mean, it's, like, it's wet right now so you can't really see that well but it's kind of like a seafoam greeny color um but yeah i think i'm gonna dye it sometime soon if not today maybe this weekend or something like that because i'm not quite ready to give it up yet but i just know it's coming and everyone says postpartum you have i keep looking down sorry i'm checking the monitor but everyone says like postpartum you have hair loss and all that stuff and i just know like dyeing my hair this frequently is not gonna be a good idea but things are going really well i'm finally feeling like myself again physically at least like the fact that i can bend over and i can like pick my legs all the way up i can sit crisscross and like just get in any comfortable position is so nice the fact that i don't have this like huge belly and the first week i was so sore and i actually felt worse the first week than i did when i was pregnant like just because everything was so sore <laughs> um the first week of postpartum was really rough, but like now that I'm through the second week and on to my third, I'm feeling so much better, <laughs> um, which is just great. I'm going to go um, sit down in front of the bassinet. I'm going to wait until she wakes up and then feed her. Sorry, he's barking. Hey, you're going to wake her up. Stop. Rin and I are chilling. And Nari. But I just got this high contrast toy out and she is mesmerized what is this Rini? i have this book which is a high contrast book so i want to read her this is gonna be my first time ever reading her a book do you know that this is gonna be her first time the sun rises All the girlies are in the back. Nari and Rini. We are going downtown to go for a walk because it is not rainy and I'm actually feeling pretty good. So yeah, we're gonna go on a date downtown, right? Yeah. Coffee first, Anthony said. He needs a coffee. Whoa! Oh my god, no! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, she didn't even start. She's still sleeping. Mary <laughs> has her Christmas outfit on. <laughs> Into the cozy coffee. Okay. Anthony got a coffee. And then I got two donut twist things that look so delicious. We just brought Nari into that <laughs> bakery. I don't think dogs were allowed in there, but they let it slide and they didn't say anything. So Nari came with us. Mm-hmm. 
All right, I got my sweets. All right, this is the regular twist. All right, this one is the same thing, but a sweet cream. Messy. Oh. Mm. You like first one better? I don't know. This one's like softer, more fresh. Yeah. But it's like not as sweet. I don't know better. how I feel about it. <laughs> oh. How's your coffee? Good. Anthony is inside this restaurant ordering me food because they have the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had in my life. I just discovered it last week, I think, or two weeks ago. I'm absolutely obsessed. They're delicious. It's so good. So he's getting that to go. I'm just hanging outside with Rin and Nari. And then we're going to walk back to the car. Hi. Come into frame with me. Lean forward. Oh, not that forward. Other than today, we've just been like staying in our apartment, like not really doing too much. I've been healing, so we haven't been able to do much. What's that? Oh, it's gonna be, this is Rin's first Christmas, so what do we wanna do for her first Christmas? I wanna make cookies. What's something you wanna do, anything? Uh. I wanna watch Rudolph, too. I want to make gingerbread houses. My family Christmas traditions are going to Florida, so I, I don't mean, think we can do those. That would be nice, but yeah. You're going to make a gingerbread house with me? No. I'll be there, though. No, you're going to make uh, What do you want to do Christmas morning? You want to make waffles? Yeah, I'll make a big breakfast. Hang out. We'll do presents. I want to get Nari Hot a few cocoa presents. for you. That sounds nice. Yeah. We are back home and got our food to go and I'm really really excited to eat it. Look at that, she's holding her binky by herself. She's so cute. Really? Anthony. <laughs> Quick and nice. Well, that's it. We're gonna eat and go to bed. <laughs>